three, four, and one, two. Hey guys, so as promised, I'm showing you a video. I'm doing this video to teach you how to do tilt shifting. It's something I've been doing for a long time and then I quit because I got all my Sigma lenses. And then recently I just got back this 50 millimeter 1.8 from Nikon that has the old aperture ring on it still. So I'm here with uh, Brielle. Brielle. <laughs> I'm here with Brielle and I have her boyfriend filming all of this. Um, so do some portraits, some cool stuff, and I'll show you. I'll show you how this turns out. All right. So first of all, when you get this lens, there's this little little red dot that it usually comes on, which is stuck at. If you go, it should be stuck like this at 22. Um, you got to pop it off, turn it off, bring it to 1.8. Have the lens off camera. Turn in the back of my camera. I'm using a D750. I just turn on my live view mode, and of course, you can't see anything. Then you bring this lens up to the camera, match it up like a dot with the dot, and right away you can see, if you look in the back of the screen, getting an image, and all of this has to be done manual focus. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop the lens off the camera, and what you're gonna be doing is just moving it back and forth, finding it. I usually find it best if you have the focus on infinity, and then uh, you're gonna be moving it back and forth to try to find that perfect focus point. And then yeah, so now we're gonna do a little bit of shooting and I can show you guys what's gonna happen and the images that are gonna turn out from it. Cool thing about this is once this is off your camera, the camera thinks there is no aperture. So it gives you a really uh, shallow depth of field which makes the images super blurry. And so when I shoot, I like to, if there is something that I can use, I like using this, right now I'm gonna be using this uh, wooden shelf to uh, have a little blur effect in front of my, that bokeh effect in front of my camera, which is gonna be really, really cool in the end. <laughs> no, it's cool. Uh, yeah, that way you can have a bunch of different options and variations so your photos just don't look boring like straight on portraits. Try to look for leading lines or things that you can like this jar vase thing that we're going to use and just kind of use it as like a prop as well to uh, place in front of the image, in front of the camera, sorry, and then that way it will be adding some cool shots and angles to it. Good. Rotate, uh, hug yourself a little more. Yeah, there you go. Always think about lighting. Right now, I have Brielle uh, pose in front of the window. That way, that way her face is lit up. Always, always when tilt shifting, especially if you're doing portraits and the portrait and the person is up close to you, make sure the eyes are in focus. Because if they're not in focus, uh, the image is not going to be as captivating, and you're just going to lose attention of your people that you're trying to show this image to or whatever you're shooting. So, all right, so now we're gonna switch locations. We're gonna find some other light spots. Let's go. So now we are gonna uh, play with a little bit of light and shadow falling through the window. Look out the window. And again, this is a very cool way to just add something different to your photos. If you're always shooting just, uh, just with the prime, if you're shooting with the prime and you're always shooting at like a 1.8 or 1.4, whatever it is, whatever your f-stop is, this way you can get some more of those, uh, those juicy, juicy bokehs that you normally can't get just at a certain f-stop. And the speaker. <laughs> speaker down, speaker down. So as you can see, I'm just constantly, constantly moving my lens up and down, away from it just a little bit, just to find that perfect focus spot. And I'm constantly focusing, my main focus is the eyes and the face. And yeah, that's cool right there. And normally I do this all outside, but because we're in Minnesota and it's February, it's freezing cold. <laughs> Brielle and Taylor let me use their house. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty much it. So always remember if you're using it um, with the Nikons, Make sure you have an aperture ring, it's a lot easier to do it. That way you can do this tilt shifting option. 
otherwise on other lenses it doesn't really work uh, or I have found it to not really work as well. So next thing is keeping the lens, the dots on the lens and the dot on the camera body to be aligned and then just moving it slightly back and forth. Next thing I always remember to have your focus on infinity mode um, or you can move it back. For me it works best on infinity mode and always think about lighting and positioning of the model. Because again, if you have bad lighting and if you have the eyes out of focus, your images are not just gonna be less attractive. Um, so yeah, hope this helped you guys out. See you in the next video.